Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Solvax here and you're watching me attempt to play StarCraft 2. Let's start this match here. This is another episode of Road to Pro made by me. This is a series where I try to learn StarCraft 2 and where I show you the matches every few days. Now another note, I'm really bad at this game, like I said in the first episode. This is the second episode. The second episode, excuse me, I'm high on coffee, I'm high on caffeine and on nicotine. And my head hurts like hell, my mouth are dry, and I'm gonna try to do this as professional as I can. So okay, in the right hand the right hand side corner, playing in my green trunks is false a. and the left hand side corner playing in the blue trunks it is Solfax aka me now I'm going with a very simple supply depot on I think 8 units, 8 SUVs here, let us see that now no, no, uh, you, no <laughs> what is the unit tab, god damn it yeah 8 SUVs and going for the supply depot, he's also going for the supply depot but he has Oh, did I press? Oops, I uh, accidentally pressed pause. Now he's going for a supply depot at 9 units. We are uh, uh, even, but luckily I started making my supply depot just a little bit before he does, which is not common with me. I'm al almost always the mac macro high player who kind of just lays out in the back. Now I'm going for a barracks, second barracks at 10. Unfortunately, I didn't do it at 10, I actually made it at 9. And in the meantime, I'm going to toss a refinery here because I need that gas because I'm going to go m marine and siege tanks. I was going gonna, was gonna go for a marine and siege tank play here, excuse me for the British accent, but things turn up differently, you will see how they turn up differently. Now let's go on the right side, he's also building a barracks here, but you will see he's he will do some things very differently from me in this match. Now again, I need to mention again that this is in between the first and the second episode, there have been around I think 20 matches played between me and other random people on the internet and I'm gonna spoil it for a little bit for you guys this is my first win this is my first legitimate win where the player did not disconnect for some unforeseen reason or where he didn't just quit in the middle of a game because he, because he has to do something now he's completed his barracks as well as I did and contrary for to the popular belief what no in comparison to him I am instead of building a second supply depot I'm building a second barracks and I'm immediately spawning two marines so I can go defend my base with these two marines if some SCV is going down my way and as soon as I'm finished building these two SCVs I'm gonna plant a tag lab. Now he's gonna go for one marine and two marines actually this SCV is gonna go and build a command center now that is one of the big differences between this match this match between him and me I didn't go for an expand this early in the game and you will see why I didn't go because I was gonna go for a little bit of a rush I think that style kind of fits me now, as you see that tech lab is up and going this barracks is up and going and I think as soon as I notice it I'm gonna start building a reactor and here I am building a reactor now he's on only one barracks at the moment he has only three marines which is very kind of odd of him if I would rush him now uh, he would be kind of toast now why am I building a tech lab first because I want to have stim on my marines as soon as possible and here I research it as soon as I get 100 minerals here which is my, uh, 100 gas excuse me which is really good timing because it almost I built it as soon as it finished and now this reactor here is gonna be finished and I will be pumping out three marines at a time in comparison to his one marine now he hasn't done anything he has built two supply depots he has built this base here it's gonna be built soon he has only four marines here and he's building two more He's building two barracks here, and as you see, he is a micro, I mean macro high player, excuse me, there. And he's going for a three barracks style, but unfortunately he didn't build a reactor here. I don't know why, he's probably expecting me to attack early, and he is right. I get these six marines here, I'm gonna go for a little push here. In the meantime, of course, I'm building more marines with this reactor and with this barracks and this barracks. And I upgraded this to a command center, so... Yeah, big things are gonna happen now. I left them up there so these two, three guys, excuse me, two guys can catch up and I can get eight marines. And notice one thing, I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight marines. And he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marines. Now watch what happens as soon as I get there. Now he's probably macroing something around here. He's went for two and I 
I repeat, two engineering base here, so it's probably gonna go for high tech, high upgrades. And here I just stop for a second to see what's going on. And here, there are seven of them. He takes one, he takes two down of mine, three, two, no, he takes he takes only one down, and they, that was eight v seven. The thing that I did was he was an auto fire and I was on direct fire, so I directed my fire on one marine to the other, to the third, to the fourth. Now, I did a little bit of damage to this barracks and I decided to go to clean up this mineral line because, well, uh, that's supply block and mineral block and he... I really don't need that because I'm doing everything I can to win this game early because he's got this expansion and I don't have an expansion. I have only 27 supply and I'm counting on these guys dying and my reinforcement coming on in time just to replace them because he, even though he has three barracks he can't be pushing marines faster than I can because I started pushing them before and Stim is already done so I have a significant advantage and as we can see he's very very bad at macro and my marines are just going on town this barracks. The barracks is going down. These two marines are just chilling out there and I have more reinforcements coming here and that is about the time where I started panicking because because I was like what is he planning why is he so bad and then I went further into the base I noticed that there's two more barracks here but from the looks of it he wasn't going to do anything these four marines are almost dead three marines excuse me and I just want to pick off as many SCVs as I can here and these four marines here are waiting for these three marines here so I forgot to use stim I totally forgot the fact that I have stim and as you can see, he's trying to pump out as many as many marines as he can, but he doesn't have a reactor, he doesn't have stim, he doesn't have anything, I have a lot of marine is in, in marines in his base, and he's just panicking, unlike me, not panicking, and I'm directing my fire at this barracks, I think I'm gonna send two of those to kill that marine here just in a second, because he's just being annoying. And now this barracks is going down, and instead of attacking this barracks right after that, I decided to go for the mineral line, because, well, why not? And I have even more marines on the way, six marines on the way, while well, he has absolutely nothing, and right about now, I knew that I was gonna win, win and I don't know why it took him some su such a long time to surrender. He does block me up just a little bit with that stupid mule here, but I managed to take it out. And I'm just going, and he lands another mule here in this desperate attempt to destroy me. But as you can see, six marines out here, five in here, and that's it. That's the GG, and that's my first game on. Finally, I have won a first game. I've played around 20 games prior to this game after the first video that I put up on YouTube of StarCraft 2. I have lost all of them, most of them without any contest, without any chance of me being victorious, and I am so happy that I won this one. What did we learn in this episode? Even though if you go macro high and you go for a lot of upgrades, as you can see, he's got four, he's got two more barracks here, two engineering bay, he was researching plus one. It, you can't help it if you do not put out enough units. Now, I didn't have a lot of advantage over him, but I was microing it properly. I uh, didn't put him on outfire, and well, I just won by rushing. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, Road to Pro, excuse me. Hope you learned something, and until next time, guys, keep it steady and carry on.